It's Jess here with Bless Jess. Thank you so much for watching. Today is the last day of August. So excited about September. So excited about summer being over. But it is Thursday, August 31st, and this is my day counting smart points on Weight Watchers. I really feel like rejuvenated, rejuvenated with Weight Watchers and excited about it again, and it's really going well. Granted, it's only been a couple of days since um, it kind of changed everything, and I'm, I really wanted to say before I get started on the video, thank you so much for all of your sweet, sweet wishes and comments on my weigh-in video. I'm not calling it weigh-in video anymore. I'm going to call it a check-in video. So yesterday I put the scale up because I have become obsessed with the scale. Um, I put it in our closet and I banished myself from getting it out. And um, already it's been put up less than 24 hours and I keep trying to go in there and stand on it like I forget it's so strange um but I already feel like freer knowing that it's not you know it's not an option right now and I'm focusing on just doing my part in getting my points in and drinking water and all of that so I just took Nate to school I had half a banana um, before I took him. I got to talk to his teacher and his aide for a while because normally David takes him and um, so I haven't taken him in a while because for different reasons but a lot of times a lot of times on Mondays and Thursdays I take him but for one thing or the other whether it be a dentist appointment or something I haven't been able to take him in a few weeks probably a week and a half to two weeks and um, so I got to talk to them about how he's doing and um, he's he seems to be doing uh, some better for them like and they're really coming up with creative things to do to help him transition and help him focus and give him rewards. The teacher brought in her personal iPad so he can have it as a reward for doing his work. Um, they're just amazing. I, I can't say enough good things about his school. Um, and I was talking to them about the headphones and they said that they had noticed at the lunchroom he was really uh, kind of anxious about all the noise and stuff. So this is the first year that he's been to the lunchroom. I think in preschool they eat in their classroom. So um, she said that he would like sing really loud and stuff to try to block out noise. And since they started using the headphones, he's done so much better. <laughs> And the teacher, she was like, I feel like I need a pair of headphones in that lunchroom. She said, it's crazy. So I'm just really glad that they are, um, you know, just being so great with him. And just makes me so happy. But now, I am headed to the gym. I have not been to the gym. I know it's been over a month. And I'm just making myself go because I know I'll feel better once I go. Um, I really don't feel like going. I feel like getting some coffee and going home. <laughs> but I'm going to the gym and then I'll reward myself with coffee. I'm planning on just doing 30 minutes of cardio, or, you know, doing the elliptical or something like that, listening to my music, getting it done, and then getting out of here. So I think I might um, swing by Aldi on the way home too because we're almost out of milk, even though I just bought milk. That's how it goes in our house. <laughs> We have a lot of milk drinkers, and I don't drink any of it. Um, and Lucy's been wanting, she's been asking me for those. She calls them Pentagon cookies, and what they are are the Fit and Active Oreo Thin, the Aldi brand uh, Oreos. So I might stop by and surprise her with those, because she has been a trooper lately. So anyway, I'm at the gym. I'm going to park this big old car. I'm used to driving the little one. I'm driving the big one today, my big Jeep, but I'm here at the gym. You can't see it, can you? I promise I'm here. I'm going to, and Nate left his lunchbox yesterday, so I gotta take that home. I was leaving with this and the teacher's like, um, can we keep his lunchbox? <laughs> I was like, you don't want this one, this one's old, so. Anyway, here's to a great Thursday and a great day. I have 36 points to spend. I've not had any, so I'll show you lunch when I have it. Okay, so I'm done with the gym. That was an epic fail. <laughs> I haven't been to the gym in a long time. I walk in and it is so hot in there. It feels like humid inside. Like outside it's raining. I don't know if you can tell, you can see some of the rain. Outside it's fairly cool. Inside is like a sauna, steam room, whatever. It's hot and sticky. 
And so I was going to do 30 minutes on the elliptical. About 10 minutes in, I'm like dying. I haven't been to the gym in a while. Oh, first. So I'm, I'm doing the elliptical. And I must have gotten like a faulty elliptical because it's like uh, every single time I'm like, you know, doing the elliptical, every single time one of my feet step down because my right foot steps down, like the whole thing's like creaking. It just feels like it's going to fall apart. So after a few minutes, I get off, switch to another one. In the process, I drop my phone, which is playing the music, and drop my headphones, and it falls on the floor just right to short out one of my headphones. So then I only have one headphone, and it's barely playing. So, so then I moved to another treadmill, and I lasted about 15 minutes, and I was like, I can't do it anymore. I'm dying. My face is red. I feel like my throw up is too hot in here. So then I went to a treadmill and I did another like five or six minutes and maybe it's closer to 10 and I'm just done. Like I can't do anymore. I haven't been to the gym in so long. I am not able to do as much. I used to be able to do the elliptical. Um, it's amazing how fast you lose it. I used to could do the elliptical without hardly even feeling 30 minutes and like five minutes into it this time. I'm like, Oh my God, I can't do this. So I'm going to have to work my way up, but I did go and I did get some exercise in next time. I think I need to eat a little bit more and um, I'm going to get some new headphones because that did not work. Plus, they need to work on their air situation. That was miserable. But anyway, uh, I've got a few minutes before Aldi opens. I think I'm going to run into um, a run to Dunkin' and get an iced coffee. So I'll show you that when I get it. Hey, everybody. So I went to Dunkin' and I'm at Aldi right now. i got like five minutes before they open. So I got an iced coffee with extra almond milk. Um, I wish there was extra, extra almond milk because it's still a little bit strong. I'm going to count one point for this because you can have um, a cup of almond milk for one point. So I don't even think there's a cup in here. I also got a shot of sugar-free coconut. I love that they have so many different sugar-free choices at Dunkin'. Um, I was getting a little bit hungry, so I also got a turkey egg white wake-up wrap. In the app that says it's five points they're really small they're like a little uh, tortilla with turkey sausage and egg white and I think there's some cheese so five points for that one point for the coffee I'm gonna run into Aldi get a couple things and it's rainy and yuck so I'm headed home so I'll see you guys back at probably lunch okay guys so it is lunch time it's 12 15 I am pretty hungry so I have a wrap here the lighting is really orangey I'm sorry about that not really sure why. So on this wrap, if I can keep it from falling apart, it's a flat out light wrap for two points. I have a laughing cow cheese on there for one. I have turkey for one. I have American skim milk cheese for zero. I have two points of avocado. Two points is 46 grams. And so this whole wrap is six points. If I'm doing the math right. <laughs> then I have some of these um, little mini sweet peppers for zero. And I have half an ounce of the Aldi Simply Nature cheese puff, white cheddar puffs, like Pirate's Booty. Half an ounce is two points. So eight points for my lunch. Um, I, let's see, I'll just talk to you guys like this. Uh, Lucy's down for a nap. It is really rainy and really yuck. I'm hoping it's going to get a little better before I have to go get Nate. But I'm just going to do some laundry, um, get some other stuff done. I drank a whole bottle of water. I got to start on my second one, and it's been a good day so far. So David left for work about an hour and a half ago. So anyway, I'll see you guys back at snack. Hey, okay, guys, so I'm going to have a little snack. It is almost 4 o'clock. I wanted a snack that's going to keep me full because it's going to be several hours before we eat dinner because David's working late. So I'm going to make dinner, but I have a little while. So I'm going to have my last powerful yogurt. I need to buy some more. I really like the blueberry acai the best, but this one's pretty good too. It is five points. If you have not seen these, these are huge. This is eight ounces um, and they have 21 grams of protein. They really keep you full. Sorry for Lucy singing in the background. <laughs> so I just put it into this bowl. I topped it with about a fourth of a cup of blueberries and two strawberries. And then I put um, half a teaspoon of chia seeds for zero. So five point stack. Um, it's going to leave me with a bunch for dinner. So that's what I'm having. Okay, you guys, it is 8.30. I am so hungry right now. I'm going to tell you really quickly what I have because I'm so hungry. So 
Um, let me show you. I have a fish sandwich. So I have these Gordon's Cod Pub Style Beer Batter Fillets. These are so good. Um, they're 11 points for the whole thing. So what I did was just cooked one and then split it between the two sandwiches. One for me, one for David. So for half, it is six points. Um, so that is the fish on there. And then I have, sorry, this is going to be all over the place. Uh, for the bread, I have these brioche buns. They just look so good. Um, they are five points. I got those at Aldi today. And then I just have some shredded lettuce, some pickle, and then I have like some ranch sauce. I'm going to count two points. Also on there is some fat-free American cheese for zero. And then I have some sunflower bacon crunch salad. I just put a little bit of the sunflower seeds and no bacon. And I'm just going to put a teeny bit of the dressing. And I'm going to count that as five points. Everything together is 18. And that is going to put me one point over today. But I've been so hungry today. I don't know what it is. Um, so I'm not that worried about only going one point over. Um... I also, today that I didn't show, had a plum and a handful of grapes, but that's zero. I have one more bottle of water to drink, and I'm going to drink that with my food. And we're going to watch some Big Brother, and the kids are down, so we're going to enjoy our dinner. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. If you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Please subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.